My name is Leah Murphy and I teach second grade at Pisgah Elementary. The purpose of the lesson was for the students to learn, learn homophones. Homophones are difficult for students because often when they're reading, they come across a word that is familiar, but they don't necessarily know the meaning and it doesn't make sense when they're reading it and so they just have to have those skills to be able to say, okay, this word has a different meaning and I'm going to plug that in and see if it makes sense in the sentence. All right, boys and girls, we're going to look back at our excerpt from Chicken Sunday, so I want you to read along with me. Ready? When Easter Sunday arrived, we thought our hearts would burst when we watched Miss Eula open that hat box. She held us close as big tears rolled down her cheeks. Our hearts sang along with the choir that Sunday. She looked so beautiful in that hat. When it was time for her solo, we knew that she was singing just for us. Her voice was like slow thunder and sweet rain. Okay, so boys and girls, yesterday we talked about our R controlled words and we talked about how the UR and the ER make the same what sound? Uh, R sound. Very good. Today we're going to talk about homophones. So I'm going to find the word our. Who can find R? Our. Ooh. Molly Joe, you see it? Where is it? Point it to me. There's one. You want to put the tape on? There is another one, so let's see if we can find it. We'll point it out. Eli, you see it? All right, I see it too. It's kind of tall. Are you going to be able to reach it? They're right there. They're, 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 the hearts are beside both, and ours are in front of the hearts. Yes. So we're going to just highlight this R right here. Okay, we're going to talk about homophones today. Homophones are words that sound the same, but they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. So it's kind of like the multiple meaning words that we talked about a few weeks ago. Remember multiple meaning words, we have our chart down here. Multiple meaning words are spelled the same and they sound the same, but they have different meanings. Homophones, though, are a little bit different because they're spelled differently and they have different meanings. So we've been talking about homophones when we've been doing our math. What are some homophones that we've talked about when we're doing our math? Four. Four. Okay. And? Two. two. Four and two. Okay. So let's look at four and four first. So we have four. This is like you're bringing something for somebody or you're doing something for somebody. And then we have the number four. F-O-U-R. Very good. All righty. Then you guys told me about two. Okay, so let's look at two. We have three different twos. We have two, like you're going to somewhere. Then we have T. O -W. O -W. Not T O W. -O -W. -O -W. We talked about that T W O, -W. like the number two when we're writing in math, and then we have T O O. And who remembers what T O O was like? Also, like also. also. So I'm going to the park also. two. Also, very good. And then today when we did 31, we talked about. One. one and one, because some of us wanted to spell it W-O-N, but that W-O-N means like you, you won. won the game. Yeah. So let's write one and one. Now, let's look back to our, because I bet y'all are thinking, what in the world? How is that a homophone? Does anybody know? It's O-U. It is. Does anybody know what else could go with our? You could think about math. You could think about math. Like the hour on the clock. Very good. Like the hour on the clock. The hour hand. Very good. All right. The hour on the clock is spelled with that hour. But it has an H in it, and that H is um, a silent H, isn't it? Can we think of any other homophones that we see 
Is he crisscross applesauce? Can we think of any other homophones that we might know or that we might see? Because I did see the word for in here, but it was the for F O R when it was time for her solo. So let's underline or highlight that one too. Since we did find the other four that went with it. Can you think of any other homophones that we could possibly add to our chart? Molly Joe? Bow and bow. Say that again? Bow and bow, like a bow and arrow in your bow. That's actually a multiple meaning. Multiple meaning word. And the reason it's a multiple meaning word is because they're spelled the same. Homophones are a little bit different because they're spelled differently. Okay? So I'm thinking like, how many of you like plain peanut M&Ms? Just, I'm sorry, plain M&M's, not peanut. Okay. Okay. Just plain, regular old M&M's, okay? How many of you ever flown in a plane? Me, not me. Are those homophones? Plain and plain? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are homophones. Like B and B. B and B. Like the B, like all B and B. Like all B and B. And like a B, like flying around. And a B's like flying around. Plain, plain like some plain. No. Plain and plain. Nice idea though. Okay, so we're gonna continue to add homophones and we're gonna put this on our graffiti wall. And so that way, if you come up with some homophones while you're doing your work today, you can add some homophones to our list. It's gonna go on the graffiti wall and you can write small and add them on. Uh-huh. Morgan, since you're already over there, will you go ahead and put that over there, please? Type it on up and then you guys can add to that. Um, as we do literacy centers. All right, real quick, real quick. We were thinking about our summary yesterday and some of us were a little confused. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about our summary. So let me get the book. Mm -hmm, that's why we're gonna talk about it. All right, so we're gonna just do the first part of our summary for Chicken Sunday. Who is our somebody? Oh, Patricia Palaka is the author, okay? So she's not actually in our story. Miss Eula, but let's think about Miss Eula. Who are the little, who are these kids? Focus. Who are these people? What, what are they? Stuart and Winston, mm -hmm. and the little girl. So we could say the little kids, right? The kids? Okay. The kids. Well, let's think about what the kids wanted. Shh. I need eyes up here. Let's focus. Morgan, what did the kids want? They wanted to get Miss Eula a hat. They wanted to get Miss Eula a beautiful hat. So the kids wanted to get Miss Eula a hat. Calling out. All right. The kids wanted to get Miss Eula a hat, but they didn't have enough, they didn't have enough money. They didn't have enough money. So the man but they didn't have, have enough, enough money. Money. And so, well, I got the man. Okay. Wait a minute. You're right. It is, a, it's a contraction for did not. They did not have enough money. Mm -hmm. So the kids wanted to get Miss Eula a hat, but they didn't have enough money. So, turn and talk to your partner. what they do? Freeze, five, four, three, two, one, freeze. Who can tell me what they did? So what they do? They were trying. They um. They tried to get um money from to help Mr. Grouchy. Um, <laughs> I think his name was Mr. Kandinsky, but yes, he was Grouchy. Yes. <laughs> and because um. Okay. They tried to make this beautiful egg so that um people that were going there um. That they could sell eggs so they could get enough money to buy the house. Very good. So they wanted to help Mr. Kandinsky, but he didn't need any help. And so they ended up selling their eggs. 
So they started selling eggs. They started selling eggs, yeah. Okay, I need us to be respectful. All right, then what happened? What happened in the end, Morgan? Mr. Cadell, see, he said save your money and he bought them the hat. Or well, did he have to buy it? He was the owner of the shop. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kandinsky. Gave the kids the hat. All right. Crisscross applesauce. So let's look at our, let's read it together. Let's read our summary together because we would be writing it here and we're going to practice doing that later. The kids wanted to get Miss Eula a hat, but they didn't have enough money, so they started selling eggs. Then Mr. Condensey gave the kids the hat for free. All right. All right. So today and every day, I want you to remember homophones, words that sound the same but are spelled differently and have different meanings.